Welcome back to Bedrock. Over the past four days, we've made some good progress. We have a fighting position, a bicycle, a dew collector, and a nice cooking and crafting area. But now it's time to ratchet things up. So the plan is to start crafting several new tools and weapons before heading out to do some tier two quests for Trader Gen. Then start a massive expansion project on the base. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze. So let's begin. All right, we've got a ton of stuff to do today, but let me get you caught up here. So last night I made a fire ax that's still rolling in the inventory and I got the iron pickaxe, which seems to work quite a bit better than the hatchet. I think that's because I have so many points into minor 69er that my stamina cost is really low, so I can manage it pretty well. We're gonna have to do a lot more digging. I think part of the process today is gonna be, we're gonna start widening out the hole. So uh, this has to be basically a three by three in order to work properly for like zombie falling. And then I was also thinking about it. So if we're on ground level, I don't think zombies will go into rage mode. I think, um, I don't know. <laughs> so if, basically what I'm saying is if they fall down the hole, we get a little bit of fall damage on them. I don't know that they will wreck all of our stuff. Uh, <laughs> We might just have to roll the dice on that one and find out. But there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can craft, like I can craft a new bow, new shovel. So let me work on that for a couple of seconds. Okay, that should be good. Stuff's just rolling in my inventory. I made some farm plots last night and I got some seeds here. So we'll go plant those and I think we're good to go for today. We're relatively, and we're a little bit thirsty and hungry. So let's just top off on that stuff. Maybe eat a little bit of grilled corn this morning. Good deal, all right, into the heat. Whoops, yep, out of the frying pan and into the fire here. So, you might have noticed there, there are zombie hit point bars on the top of the screen. And um, ho I'm hoping that that's just a temporary thing, because what I wanted to do was uh, make it so that my patrons and members have their name show up for s certain types of zombies, like ferals and uh, rads and cops and stuff like that. They should have a, a patron or supporter name on top of them. And uh, the regular zombies will just be like not named what i would like to have is that it is just so that um the regular zombies don't have their hit hit point bar show up at all i'm not sure if that's possible though working on it in terms of mods i've also gone ahead and put in my uh weather mod so we should have significantly less rain and fog only like a two percent chance at any given time and i also made it so that the wasteland which is out to the west here has clear skies because i just i hate the wasteland weather and you know i want the game to be fun and enjoyable not miserable and you know the weather makes me miserable <laughs> so anyway i'll meet you at the trader okay so i think we're in the tier twos have we done a tier two yet it's been a couple days since i recorded last so let me double check here yeah, we know we just done the tier ones. So we could try an infested clear. It kind you of depends on where that's going to be. The broken axe. Well, I don't actually know what that is. It's kind of far away, but I suppose this we could do a little bit of exploration. Work. Where's the mission you just gave me? <gasps> oh, that's going to probably be a freaking wasteland mission. We could give it a try. Sure. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong, right? It'll increase our loot stage a little bit. I'm finding that uh, after playing for the streamer weekend, that it's really helpful to have a point into the vehicles, because otherwise it just takes forever to get the motorcycle and stuff un unlocked. All right, well, we're heading to the wasteland already. I'll meet you there. Okay, we've just made it to the broken axe, and there's already a bear there. Yikes. And uh, luckily that's not a feral back there. But we have to deal with this bear. There is no other way around it. Wasteland treasures there. Oh, that's the good one. Volume 3, harvesting acid from all the good stuff. From the barrels, from the medicine cabinets, from the cars. Nice. Okay, well, the only way to deal with this bear is from an elevated position, and um, probably just trying to use shotgun rounds more than anything. Um, we're just gonna have to set up a little bit of a trap. All right, I don't think this is uh, any sort of a cheese mechanic right here. This is just straight up survival. There's no other way. Yep, just, um, whoops, maybe something like that. And where are you, buddy? There he is. Come on over here. Oops, I uh, missed him. Yep, he's coming up here. And 
Yes, right here. Now, hopefully, he'll come straight underneath me. And um, we can just shoot him to death. Well, of, of course he wouldn't. He uh, wants to probably go inside so that he can, uh, I don't know, go up the stairs or something and then pound his way through the wall towards me. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I can hear stuff breaking in there too. Here, what if I go even higher? Yeah, what if I just hang out up here? Now what's gonna happen? Okay, the soldier made it up. The bear is just right there, okay. I suppose, where did the soldier go first of all? Because he'll probably, he'll probably be the one that kills me after all this. Is he going over here? Ah, there he is. Oh, I just woke up a cop, nice. Well, I've got the burning shaft on this. Maybe I could set him on fire, that will help. Oh, and a pipe bomb for the three of you, please. Nice, that should do it. <laughs> whoa. Copper is not dead. Try to kill him before he blows. Holy crap, that was close. If we could do the same thing to the bear, I think we're gonna be good. Does it look like the bear can squeeze himself up the uh, stairs? So otherwise, I think this is a tier one POI, which means I might be able to get a better position inside here somewhere. Yeah, the bear's gonna have a really hard time on this switchback staircase. Oh, whoa, come on now. He's a feral, ah. Okay, let's test that. Does he have a name? Donkey5049. Oh, geez. And there we go. In a second here, I'm gonna check my game stage. My, well, my loot stage is 61 right now. Whoa, can we? just to get a beat on the bear. Right there, pop somewhere. Oh boy, Arlene, ah, get back. Yeah, I don't like this one bit, but I don't see any other way of getting around this right now. He's coming up the stairs. No, bad, bad, bad. Yes, he's almost here. I don't know if this is gonna be the way to go or what. using all of my pipe bombs. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Um, here, put that in there just temporarily and reload. He's down to a third health. I know it's kind of cheesy that I can see his hit points, but we have to deal with that. Okay, there we go. Last one, just in time. There's another bear right there. Whoops. Okay, so we had two cops in here already. Here, let me get my hunting knife down here so I can harvest him up. I feel like at this rate, we must be next to the main loot. I mean, there was a cop in here. Ah, right there, nice. Okay, we can grab this and then just do a, a double loot out here. Might as well while we're here, right? Didn't do me much good. I did, that's a nice bow actually. I think I'll just switch over to that. Okay, just double check on where that other bear is before we <laughs> kick this whole thing off. He's um reasonably far away. Let's give this a try. Damn, he's like, he's just so close. What is that nurse running up for? It's a freaking wandering horde. Oh, geez. Okay. Are they just gonna wander on by? Right, I'm gonna hit the quest and get started. If I end up failing because I have to run away, so be it. I'll have learned my lesson not to come out here and uh, <laughs> try to do infestation quests on day five in the wasteland. I just want to have a quick safety ladder there, I guess. And let's do this. Oh, that's a, that's a feral then. Stone wyvern there. Yep, hi there. No oh boy. No, 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 no stamina. Oh, Arlene burnt to death. Stone wyvern did. Bo is almost dead. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, whoops. That's the thing about these, um, infestations in the wasteland is that it's good your your game stage is boosted up so much okay can i just get one more headshot in there ah take that he's gonna blow don't let him do it that was toxic owl there oh my goodness having a pretty easy time here just a regular there regular here yeah, if that bear aggros, we are 100% trapped in here and probably dead. Couple of zombies over there. I'm down to my last five arrows. Whoops, yep, there's a little bit less drop on this arrow type. With this bow, I mean. Builder Bob there. Oops, I woke him up. Okay, the kitchen is fully looted. Almost fully. Cooking magazine, cat food. I did level up, which is nice. I'm thinking, uh, let's just put that into vehicles right off. I was talking about that a second ago. Grease monkey it is. Gotta get, get to work on those vehicle magazines. Oh, okay, so Bo just woke up there. Mo did not, so I'll take him out. Ooh, took a hit there. 
Give me a quick bandage. That's a feral. That would that would be why. Kagarath, I think, is the name. There we go. Oh, I hear I hear the bear. I hear the bear. Okay. Let me outside. Oh she okay. It's gonna they're gonna struggle to get inside and then struggle to get upstairs, I think. And all the wandering horde zombies are waiting for me outside as well. Okay. A little bit safer out here. At least I can get away. Oh jeez. Yes, I hear him. Oh, we're almost done with the quest too. Okay, if we could just get the quest finished, get the main loot and get out of here, I'd be happy with that. I'm, a, I'm severely encumbered though, so we gotta start rationing some stuff here. Yep, we're going in this way, just like we did before. Good. Where are they? Are they in the main loot room? They are. How many? At least two. <laughs> I was able to yank my arrow out of that one from way back here. Okay. Close that door, that would be where the bear would come from. One over here. Are we good? We're done. Infested, uh, infestation supply cache here, ergonomic grip, awesome. Shotgun book here. Shotgun tube extenders, uh, machete parts, or... Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous right now. That was um, machine gun parts, medical journal, okay. And how about a forge ahead magazine, please? Tools digest, okay, I'll take that. And I think that just about does it. I'm not going to open that door because the bear is in there somewhere. I, I don't need to know exactly where. And I should have a little platform here that I can jump onto. Well, that's a, quite a jump actually. Um, uh, yeah, let's just go. Where's the bear? I don't hear him. I don't see him. I'm not going to stick around for long to find out where he is. Okay. He's not chasing me though, so I can grab this and let's get out of here. That was fun. Goodbye everyone. Going back to the desert. Whoa, look at the fire axe I just pulled out of that car. Yep, yeah, definitely worth it to come out here for some very small looting raids occasionally. Just see if you can... Oh my god. The, the best possible, the legendary iron sledgehammer. Okay, I am 100% satisfied with how this turned out today. But I'm going to roll the dice one more time. No, I'm not. There's a dog there. Scratch that. W take what we got and go home, okay? The last thing we need is to die right now and have our entire inventory deleted. You know, and, uh, I might I might sneak a couple more here. Repair kits and glue. Repair kits and iron. So uh, speaking of repair kits, let's uh, go ahead and repair those two items and uh, switch them over immediately. All right, last loot container. Holy Toledo. My goodness, and that's the last one for this for the wasteland. Okay, we need to come here more often. Once a week, we're gonna have wasteland day. Nothing like a quick trip to the wasteland to like max out your iron tools. We just need a shovel now and we're good. Oh man, that is gonna be so glorious for mining back at the base. We've got so much mining to do as well, and now it's just gonna be 100% easier. All right, I'll meet you at the trader then. What's up, Jen? Thank, you know, I really appreciate you sending job. me on that mission. I didn't I think I had it, it in me, but I successfully completed it and, um, I'm it's good. Look at the upgrades here. The iron fire axe, iron sledgehammer, iron pickaxe, all legendary quality. Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. In terms of stuff, though, I, I used all my pipe bombs there, so I think we need a restock on that, please. And I'll take another job for you for later. Let's uh, let's hold off on the infesteds because uh, they're pretty far away, actually. So let's go ahead and get the closest fetch job here at the McCormick good. residence. And um, I need to go back home and stash at the base. But first, we're going to give the legendary hammer a swing. Ooh, yep, it works. OK, so I will stash the inventory and I'll catch up with you over at the quest. All right, here we are in the McCormick residence with an unsearched mailbox. Lovely. 10% more damage to wolves. Need to make some more arrows tonight. Just a random purse here in the middle of the street. Okay, I'll take that free pistol. Thank you very much. All right, anything worth double looting here? We have a garden full of dead crops and a couple of broken down cars. Trash bin here. Okay, I guess not. Let's hit it and get the mail again for an electrical trap magazine. Just a fetch quest, and it looks like the satchel is very close to this window. It's right there, probably under this cupboard. 
<laughs> I'm gonna just get it so that I can say it's over and then we'll clear this place out still. Okay, mission complete. So we can make a quick escape if we have to. But I want to see what's going on here because this is... It's an old POI, but um, this is one of the ones they featured in the dev streams where they've made it more compact. Oh, I see you, nurse. I can see your little kneecap right there. I just put an arrow into it. End your adventuring career. Maybe you can be a guard at Whiterun. Okay, I've seemingly made it through most of the POI, but I'm at this trap here, and we can't go through it. So we have to trace the pipe through the walls, which are conveniently all just blown out. <laughs> all the way over here. There must be a valve here somewhere. Oh, right there. That'll turn it off, I bet. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, and we've got end loot zombies, it looks like. Bunch of businessmen. Damn, the sledge is unstoppable, and this should let me right out the front, or the side, or the back, or whichever direction that goes. And a shotgun magazine to close things out. I think that will just about do it. So interestingly, I have discovered calendars. Oh, that's new. I've discovered calendars that say both 2013 and I think the other one was like 2035 or 2037 or something. So it's, um, I'm trying, I've been trying to figure out like when, when does this actually take place? I think, you know, this could just theoretically be an old calendar, maybe paying homage to when the game was first released. But the other calendar that says 2035, that is the current setting for the game. Oh, but there's still a zombie in here. Well, we've got to like sufficiently clear the area, not that we absolutely need to. That does it, though. I wish I could take that flag home with me, and the poster, for that matter. All right, I'll meet you at Jen's, and that just broke my wrench. Good timing, I guess. All right, let's see what Jen has for us. Iron Shovel, not too bad. AK-47, really not too bad. Art of Mining Book, also tempting. Ooh, okay. I think in an effort to max out the mining books, I'll have to take that. Oh, man, that AK-47, though, really calling my name. Rolling with the book, which, by the way, she had an urban combat book, which I'm just going to flat out buy that right now. Also, I'm going to buy an extra water filter so I can make another dew collector. And I don't think it's such a bad idea to buy the explosive magazines just to maybe get to a point where I can craft, like, pipe bombs. And I think that I think just about does better. it. Let's go home. Ah, okay. Home sweet home. Okay, first up on the docket is a new wrench, level 5. And with that, I think it's time to do a big mining project. we got to widen out this hole here. So this is going to be, I think... Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Um, actually, this will have to be the back of the hole, and then the front of it will be about right here. Ooh, that's going to make <laughs> a very big area. Well, let's do it. Good morning, everyone. Just had to repair up the pickaxe for these last two blocks here. And I got started at about midnight and it's like just 5 a.m. So really just five hours to do all this work. And um, about, uh, I'd say one eighth of the work we can save and not do just by leaving the central component open. I will support it with that. We have to destroy this here and then well, I guess I gotta go to the top and then I'll take the ladder up on the way down. There we go. And I should just be able to grab those and the rest of the work will do itself. <laughs> yes, perfect. 
All right, and we're back topside. So we'll we'll do that up in a, just a minute. I've got the new dew collector here. I just want to slap that down so that we can start rolling on the water sooner than later. And right here will be fine. I think it's going to be kind of fun to figure out a way. Well, I know how to do it, but just to set up the system where we can have the dew collectors and the farm down there at bedrock within the base with us. We'll just have to get like a nice light hole for the crops and a nice, I guess, dew collector hole for the dew collectors, or alternatively, you can just um, have a ceiling that's five block spaces so that like the five blocks above it are clear, and then you could just have a ceiling over the top of it. It still works fine. Okay, so that was a fun little project there. I probably should get something to eat, and then we should continue questing. We will basically have all night tonight and tomorrow to figure out the system to get the zombies to fall down here, which is relatively simple, and then we'll maybe try to do some test runs to see if it all works before the horde night. And I do think that this, I'll get some iron hatches to replace these. And we'll upgrade this all to cobblestone, and then hopefully that'll be enough to help us survive the day seven horde. Okay, I'm cooking on the bacon and eggs, but of course it takes forever. I did make a whole bunch of black trap coffee, which is kind of fun. I might just bring that with me for today. And um, yeah, we're just going to have to be a little bit hungry today. Maybe I'll see if Trader Jen is selling any food. And uh, I don't want to do a sell off just yet. I'm going to wait until either I need the money really bad. Oh, hi, Arlene. <laughs> Good morning there. What are you doing here? Get, oh my god, that was not what we needed to see this morning. We just turned this into a PG-13 episode. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at the trader. Okay, first thing to check here would be the vending machine. See if she's got a little bit of food for me. Oh, Rockbusters. <laughs> I think I'll be doing enough mining that I won't really even need that. I've already got like 15,000 stone or something, but um, the beef ration I will take for today. That should fill us up anyway. And yeah, oh, did I get a job from you, Jenny? Yeah, I can't remember. No, I guess weather. not. I've got just and what the she's, doctor ordered. Oh, geez, she's only got the fetches, really? To yeah. the east? I at the... What is that? Pachioti residence, maybe? Uh, I'd rather go to, like, a working stiff tools, if you could manage you that. Smorgasbord Square? <laughs> that sounds like a fun one, actually. Let's do that. That will push us a little bit into the downtown. I'm not terribly worried about that. I feel like I can hold my own to some degree in terms of, like, fighting ferals. What are you all doing here? Leave. All right, smorgasbord square, here we come. Oh yes, this place, the sushi chest. Just continuing with the PG-13 theme a little bit. No big deal. Yes, right, spiders in the downtown area. Just knock him out. You're next, Tommy. Whoa! Bird! Ow! Oh, abrasion. Come on, now. Vending machine broken. Vending machine broken. Mailbox, magnum enforcer, more damage with 44 magnum guns. Give me that, and that. Check the car for a shovel. Don't really need any of that. Look at this. This is pretty cool. I like that, man. That little things like that just make the world feel so much more believable, right? I mean, we're working with the zombie apocalypse. We need every little believable tidbit that we can get. All right, that was uh, that was it for the little double loot. Let's hit this. Just a fetch. Uh, satchel seems to be right there. That would be difficult to get to, though. So scratch that. Give me this again. And the Mega Crush variety this time, and this one is working, working well. Let's just take the coffee. I like coffee. Check the mailbox one more time. Another Magnum Enforcer, holy cow. AP44 Magnum Ammunition. This one here is for getting honey out of trees. 5% chance per tree, not too bad. One more time on the sedan here. Another stone shovel. This is interesting, it's like Groundhog Day here. And what about this last one here? Big hitters. Okay. I, you know what? I don't know that I need the knife anymore. I think I'm at the stage right now where I'm kind of just happy with the axe, even though I get 30% less resources by using the axe. I think that's okay, honestly. Save me the inventory spot. All right, Mo. Can't have you lurking out here. Sorry, buddy. And a sham sandwich. You know what? You keep that sham sandwich. I've got about 25 of those back home. All right. What are we working with here? Oh, we're working with birds. Oh, jeez. Another one. Oh, couple. Yikes. All right, what's the deal here? Oh, here we go. Yes, dropping. Oh, great. Dropping down into the unknown. 
I feel like there's a lot of POIs that do this to you here in Alpha 21. Just like, yep, go ahead, jump right down. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, does that mean, where's the satchel from here? It's kind of over there. Okay, we got zombies rolling up outside. That's starting to sound like a lot of them too. Oh crap, they're at the window. Here, can I take this off so I can see what's happening? Indeed. How many are out there? Oh, that, that's a wandering horde for sure. Can you guys, uh, oh, here we go. Get some visibility as to what's going on. Oh my god, we got a stripper inside. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're... No, no, no. Okay, we gotta take care of this here. Um, they want to go through the top and through here. Right. We need to open a hole in the door so that I can throw some pipe bombs out. I think is how this could possibly work. Yes, that's, it's working, it's working. Pipe bombs outside. Does it not work? Yeah, that one went outside. Okay. Ow. Let's just try that. Take that! Oh, I killed every one of them. <laughs> wow. Alpha 21 is friggin' fun. Right. Where were we? I guess we're just clearing out the bathroom and stuff. Okay, into the back. I feel like there's more zombies. Aside from this guy. Whoa! Goodbye. I go. Oh, jeez. He's in the floor. Oh, that's three skill points to spend, too. Whoa, okay. Starting to get kind of hurt here. Let's just take a brief moment to fix my ailments. Okay, so I do have a sprained arm now. I think uh, Builder Bob there just did that to me. So if I go to skills and I go to intellect physician, I could take a point into this at some point and then I can use a splint or a cast apparently to cure my sprain instantly. Also gives you more XP from the bandages and first aid kits. You can get more health over time and critical injuries heal faster. Seems like a really good one to take, except I just, I, I don't quite want to do the deep dive into intellect just yet, but then again, that would allow me to go further into advanced engineering and into Grease Monkey. Uh, it's saying I need intellect level four for these things. Okay. In that case, let's go. One, two. Oh, then we can get Daring Adventurer as well, eventually. And um, let's go Physician later. <laughs> I'll deal with the sprained arm for now. Let's go... Um, Let's go advanced engineering. I kind of want the workbench. I'm all over the place. I think we're going to have to stick with intellect for a couple of days here, and then we'll get back to strength. Strength's doing fine anyway. Yeah, I believe... Yeah, zombies are on the other side of this door. Let's open that up a little bit. Take care of that guy. It's a good set of padded chest armor. I'll switch that over immediately. Good morning, Killer Joe. How you been, buddy? Mega Crush, that could help for a quick getaway if I had to. Yep, just gonna try to avoid the power attack for a few more minutes. Always checking the toilets. You know, earlier I pulled out uh, another level one pistol, so we got the purse pistol out of the street, and then I got a toilet pistol out of the toilet inside. Okay, there's my satchel. Good to know. I can hear zombies in here, though. Here he is. Oh! Oh, this guy. Oh, ow! Ooh, that was really close. Just... Let's not even risk that's not even loaded. Okay, going with this then. Well, mission complete. Not that there's really any way out of here right now. I'm totally stuck, so if we get ambushed again, we're gonna have to just hold it down. Where's the main loot zombies? There. Oh! Of course, they're in the ceiling, because they're always in the ceiling now. Ow! Okay, and biker man. Get out of here. That did nothing to him. He's armored, and the shotguns just don't do anything to armored zombies. Can I hit you? Nope! Ooh! Close that frickin' door. Painkiller! Okay. Explosives, however, do do things to armored zombies, so... One, two, three, and open! Take that! Blew his leg off and his arm up. You know, the other day I was streaming, and I noticed that if a zombie has no arms and no legs, they can no longer move. However, if you get close enough, they'll bite you, which is just hilarious. It's awesome. All right, just just so that I can have a second to react if someone flies around that corner, uh, plug that in there. And I think we're good to loot up. Oh, and there's a door right here I can open to get out. And in the main loot here, a triple mod, nice art of mining volume two for diamond tip 
mods and uh, yes very nice all right let's go back to jen's you know what'd be kind of a cool feature is if you could go to trader jen and like pay her to treat one of your critical Don't injuries like hey can you treat my you abrasion for me that. okay another armor pocket mod but really a terrible one and but otherwise i mean it's yeah i'll take the skill magazines i guess what's next another fetch i guess what's this one too downtown post office oh can we can we just not go downtown for like oh, half a day here do this for me. yes I the the Pacioti or Pecioti or Pecioti or I don't know how to say that. Thanks, son. I think it's Italian. It sounds Italian to me. We'll do that. Where's that going to take me? Okay, not too far away and just on the border of downtown. I need to go home though and stash myself. Alrighty then. Here we are. Sprained arm is healed so we can start using the power attack again. Electrical traps, and I also, I made a bunch of aloe cream because I'm gonna make some more bandages when I get home, but I got the first aid kits on me for now. Who's here? Whoa, what, what the hell happened there? Just pressing buttons. Oh no, I just healed up, man. God, great. Okay, so concussion and fatigue now. We're just running right through all of them. Why not? Okay, I was hoping to get a uh, workbench magazine out of that, but no cigar. Okay, that's it for double looting. Start over again. Tools Digest and Handy Land. Oh, that's a feral. Oh, boy. Uh, yep. I need a gun. Is it Jill Jugs? I think it is. Come on out here, Jill. Let's see if we can line you both up for a headshot or something. Uh, that totally worked. Kind of. Not really. I killed the feral, at least. Good. Nice. Oh, steroids. No, geez, not gonna help me right this minute, but... Good to have, I suppose. Keep it on me. Keep it around. Now we got a spider. Oh, great. All right, let's proceed through here. Just a fetch, as usual today. It's all Jen had, except for the restore powers, which I don't know about that stuff. No, oh, dog. Run. Got another feral. It's Wolfie. Oh, now I'm bleeding. Not good. Close that door. Holy Toledo. I'm doing so bad today. Where are they? Are they on the other side of this stupid door? Looks like they are. Just open that up for them. And I'll hide out here. Did that do anything? I got some XP ro rolling in there, so... Must have done something. Oh, yes. Phew, yeah. So we gotta be super careful. I'm at, like, just over 50% max health right now. One or two shots and I am a goner. Oh, vehicle adventures. That's good. We're up to six on that. Wow. Okay, we're way behind. Yeah, here's the 2034 calendar I was talking about. Vitamin. Oh, that is a great find. Takes care of my fatigue. And uh, when, you ha when you're fatigued, it's basically you take 10% extra damage from attacks. Ah, my concussion kicking in a little bit. Okay, what's hiding behind this, do you think? Nothing. Wonderful. Okay, it is unclear to me right now where I'm supposed- Oh, you're supposed to go out this way. Oh, I see. And you just wrap it around into the bedroom here with a sleeping mo right there. Well, I don't think I can get a headshot. Well, maybe I can. There we go. Take care of you and another mo. Nobody in the closet though. Oh, I can hear a uh, burning gas pipe somewhere. So I took a blackstrap coffee earlier, so the, the stamina is looking really good right now, but that's going to run out in about 45 seconds. This is actually a very lovely home. I like this place. Oh. Okay, so... That's a thing. Climbing rope. Uh, zombies breaking stuff downstairs is also a thing right now. It's starting to worry me more and more by the minute. Um, okay, main loot. But uh, definitely I spell a trap here. And there's your gas pipe. A dog kennel. There's a dog down there. Excellent. Let's just get the drop on him. That should be a headshot. Well, I'm not sure where that arrow went. Try another one. There we go. Dead. Birds above me. Okay, there's a few zombies right there. Okay, so there's some loot over there. It looks like that could be an escape. And so there might be a gas line valve over here somewhere. Oh. Good morning. Yeah, this is where the loot is over here anyway. Oh, a treasure map. Look at that. Nice. 
Well, here's the main loot. Big hitters, another vehicle adventures. Good, so that's starting to kick in a little bit, it seems. A good padded hood, pistol peep book, and a banded armor plating mod. Oh, and I just put my first pair of boots on because I found a quality six pair of scrap boots. So I just put that on and we're, I guess we're done with the dress shoes. Okay, so, um, oh, here's the valve right here that should uh, turn that off. There we go. Get some rotten flesh off of that guy and turn him into a farm plot later on. Armored up, sewing kits, polymer, and we're done. I'll meet you at the trader. No, we're not done. We didn't get the satchel. Crap. Oh, back inside, back inside. Ah, there it is. Now we should be done. Okay, we're at Jen's. Suppose I can just read this treasure map here somewhere and should be should be nearby. Okay. Up by the beat place over there. I and so what do we get today? To oh, Jen, you, you're just... Sitting by you can't day. match the wasteland loot. I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle then. I opened the other one from before and it was like... I think it was a couple of sledgehammer magazines. Nothing particularly special. And a job for tomorrow. I guess we'll wait because I don't want to do any of these. And tomorrow's her restock day. So just one more look here and see if there's anything I need. Well, painkiller. That just saves me from using Stay one for my supply and that'll fix our concussion. And we're good. Nice. And I think for the rest of the night, I want to do a little bit of mining, like maybe some nitrate mining, so because we need to make some hey, gunpowder and uh, coal. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get the coal anywhere around here, but at least we can take care of the nitrate. I think that was what was holding me back on the farm plots anyway. Okay, let's see what was inside the bundle here. That's Tools Digest, Furious Fists, and Shotgun Weekly. Pretty cool. That might get us to, we'll see here in a second. Yes, double barrel shotgun quality two. If, if I can get a workbench, then uh, we can craft that. The workbench is holding us back right now. And to get the workbench, we need four more workbench or workstation magazines. You're gonna get that from a working stiff tool place. I don't even know that I've seen one of those. Where was the opening trade routes mission? I wonder who that was, honestly. Trader Hugh, okay, so he's not the tool guy. We need a Trader Bob. Maybe she'll sell a couple tomorrow when she restocks. Otherwise, maybe that'll be our mission for tomorrow is search around town and see if we can track down some kind of a hardware store. All right, let's zoom right in here. There's nitrate over there, but I honestly, I don't wanna do mining close to my base because it can really, really mess up how a bedrock base works. That area over there looks to be bountiful though. There's iron, there's nitrate, there's oil shale over there. That could just be the designated mining area. I think it'll that'll just about do it for this little trip here. Let's just head back down to the protection of our bedrock cave. Well, it's more like a bedrock sinkhole right now, but <laughs> we're working on it. And I'll just take inventory of what we have and what we need and what we should craft and what we should do tomorrow. And we will pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.